So now, let's work on some scientific reasoning questions. On November 26, 2013, some first-year students asked two senior students, Ada and Bob, what the passing mark for SCNC 1111 is. They both said that they passed the exam with 90 marks. The students later spread the rumor that the passing mark for SCNC 1111 is 90. Name the process through which the students came up with this rumor. So it should be induction. Because students are making generalization based on the passing mark of Ada and Bob. So how should this rumor be handled with scientific method? We need to test the hypothesis by experiment. For example, what we can do is we can ask more senior students for their passing marks. And then we can confirm or falsify it. So in May 2016, snow leopards that are rarely seen have recently been videotaped in Qinghai, China. The video shows a pair of snow leopards living on the same mountain. Upon watching this video, Professor Leon of the University X commented, This video clearly shows that there is a healthy and biologically diverse community living on this mountain. Which mode of reasoning has Professor Leon practiced in coming up with the statement, abduction, deduction, or induction? You do not need to explain your answer. So the answer is abduction. So from the observation that the video shows a pair of snow leopards living on the mountain, and then Professor Leon tried to come up with some explanations. So it, he said that the video clearly shows that there is a healthy and biologically diverse community living on this mountain. It is not induction because there is no generalization making. December 2016, we have already done these questions in our tutorial, so I will skip it here. And December 2017, the above figure shows the record and projected amount of CO2 emissions from 1980 to 2100. The data points before 2016 are direct measurements, while climate scientists has made forecasts for 2016 onwards under different conditions. Four scenarios are considered. So which mode of reasoning is practiced in each of the above scenarios? Induction, deduction, or abduction? Mathematical models for climate changes need to be established before the climate scientists use them to predict the climate conditions in the future. To do so, the behavior of the atmosphere under different situations has been studied, resulting in a number of general laws. So in item number one, climate scientists collect the data, and then they are going to make generalization. Therefore, it is induction. Two. Climate models which are based on general science laws were used by climate scientists to forecast the amount of CO2 emissions from 2016 onwards. This is obviously deduction. Because it's based on the general law and then they try to make um, predictions. Using their climate models, climate scientists would list out the amount of CO2 emission we should achieve so as to ensure the future increase in temperature would be below 2 degrees. So this is deduction, because the climate scientists also use their models and then to list out to figure out what would happen based on this model. 4. William observed a significant increase in CO2 emission in E2000 from the above figure. He was confident that such an increase was resulted from the Iraq war. So um, this is abduction, because um, he's going to guess what would happen. May 2018. Consider the following situations. A mathematical model to inform Koei that an apartment under concern will soon be full of cockroaches. Harrison, Koei's friend who studied environmental science, stated that the deteriorating air quality in the city has led to such a rapid growth of cockroaches. This is obviously a guess, and then that's why it would be an abduction. On Saturday, 12 May 2018 and Sunday, 13 May 2018, Harrison records the PSI of a city A every hour from 6 to 6. So he got some data from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Based on these collected data, he postulated a relationship of the PSI and the city A with time, which Harrison expected to hold for the whole week. So this is induction. Because based on a small amount of data, and then he postulated what would happen in general. Harrison was very confident about the validity of his model PSI. Then he used it to calculate the PSI in City 8 on January 1st, 2020. So this is deduction because based on the model, and then he tried to guess what would happen. 
Harrison interviewed several environmental scientists who all agreed that global warming would cause deterioration of air quality. Harrison was now convinced that global warming was occurring. So, um, yeah, this is like none of the above. These two statements do not really have a causal relationship. Um, December 2018. Charlotte was having some thoughts about the operation of a new restaurant at her university. Many friends of hers had been telling her that this new restaurant served bad food. Charlotte thought the restaurant must have a bad chef. This is an abduction because this is a guess. This new restaurant served bad food maybe because of the, um, the ingredients of the food are bad. It may not necessarily be the chef. Charlotte had ordered food at the restaurant for several days, and a portion of food he had got in these instances had been small to her standard. She then became very confident that all food at that restaurant served would be of small portions. So based on her own experience, that all the portion of food she got were of small standard, then she generalized that all the food that the restaurant served would be of small portions. So this is induction. Many friends of Charlotte had also been telling her that finding seats at that restaurant had been easy. She then became sure that all her friends would share the same opinion with her when she met them. So this is also induction because like she is like based on certain the, a small amount of data and then she tried to make generalization of all her friends. Charlotte learned from economics textbooks that companies operating under monopoly offer bad services to their customers because they face no competition. Charlotte realized that the restaurant under concern would soon be the sole food provider at her university. She became convinced that the restaurant would continue to offer bad services to her and her fellow classmates. So this is um, deduction. So the answer is D in this case. May 2019. Eddie pumped into a celebrity, Addison, in Tokyo and asked for taking a photo together. Eddie thought that Addison would accept his suggestions because it was well known that Addison always agreed to take photos with fans. So with this assumption that Addison always agreed to take photos with his fans, then Eddie deduced that Addison would accept his suggestion. Addison, however, turned down Eddie's suggestions. Seeing a young girl next to Addison, Eddie thought that the girl must be Addison's daughter and she was the reason why Addison had not agreed to take photos. So Eddie came up with a reason for Addison turning him down. So this is abduction. Eddie then confronted Addison. Eddie pointed out that two other celebrities, Easton Chen and Handy Hui, agreed to take photos with fans even though their daughters are around. So based on like these two data points, therefore it should be a common practice for all celebrities taking photos with fans together with their doctors around. Therefore, it should be a common practice for all celebrities taking photos with fans together with their daughters around. So that's induction. Eddie's confrontations with Addison went wild on the internet, while Easton learned about it while having his singing tour around the universities in Hong Kong. During his visits to the five universities in Hong Kong, Easton observed that many students were looking up Eddie's confrontation on the internet while Easton was singing. Instance concluded that university students in Hong Kong must all be paying very expensive phone and electric bills. So this is abduction. Because Instance is trying to make a guess. December 2020. We have discussed three modes of reasoning in this course. Expect three green from one step of scientific method to the next one. Which mode of reasoning is adopted in each of the following statements? A number of presidents and prime ministers have contacted the coronavirus. These increase the precedence in all these countries. All of them are men. Therefore, coronavirus only affected male world leaders. So this is abduction, because it gets that coronavirus only affected male world leaders, based on certain observations. A number of presidents and prime ministers have contacted coronavirus. These include all these people. All of them are men. It can be concluded that all male world leaders have contacted coronavirus. So we can see that based on a few data points, male leaders getting coronavirus, and then it concludes that all male world leaders have contact coronavirus, then this should be an induction. A number of presidents and PM have contacted the coronavirus, thus showing that a male world leaders are not born to immune to it. Therefore, it should not be a surprise if the French president will also contact coronavirus in the future. Yeah, so this is a deduction. Because men are not immune to it, 
then you shouldn't be surprised that a man would be able to contact the coronavirus in the future. Number of presidents and prime ministers contact coronavirus, thus showing that the male world leader was not born to immune to it. It can be concluded that male world leaders visit hospital with COVID-19 patients too often, so this is an abduction because it is a guess. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed the lecture in the LY Hall as well as this video.